Hello everyone, it is Assassin, and today we're going to be going over V5 and how you can download it and get it to run on your PC because it is falsely flagging it as Trojan. Yay, Windows Defender. So, if you're running Windows and having this running on Windows or, you know, you're using Linux and not so happen to install Windows or Linux, you're going to need to go to your settings. Mine is going to look a lot different if you're running Windows 10 or below, but this is kind of the area you need to go either way. You need to go to your settings, find privacy and security wherever that is you can even type it up here to find a setting or you can even uh, type in where we need to go which is going to be Windows security and you can go to Windows security settings and it will bring you right onto this page now this is, looks universally sound on across all of the windows you're going to go to account protection it'll bring you here you're going to go to virus and threat protection you're going to need under this virus and threat protection settings manage settings you are going to need to scroll down add or remove exclusions Windows security is like, oh, you want Windows security to make changes? You're going to click yes, because, yeah, you, you kind of want to play the game. You're going to add an exclusion. You're going to click on the folder. Now, mine already works as is. However, I'm still going to show you how you would do this. So... Uh, mine is on my desktop. I recommend you having your EXE on a very short path log. Otherwise, you will run into an error. That way, you're going to click on your V5 folder, wherever it is, as long as it's like three folders deep. I, I don't think it could be any more than that. Otherwise, it runs into a pathfinding error. Then you're just going to select the folder. Just the entire folder. Now, you can close out all of that. So, now, what you would need to do is if this was not in here, I'm going to just delete the exe from here. Let's say my antivirus and Windows Defender had deleted it in the first place because mine didn't. I would then need to go into my downloads with a new window. I would need to go into the alpha thing, go into here, find the exe, and I need to drag this into a better spot. And then you would just drag and drop simple as that and as you can see if this pops up in here with this little picture icon beside of it you have known this properly now there is one other issue you can get while uh, doing this from windows defender if you try to run the application and a little thing pops up saying windows defender has protected you because it can happen so again, I'm just going to need to go here manually because mine doesn't pop up there. I am pretty sure it pops up in here. Uh, it will pop up right here in your uh, last threats. Uh, you are going to need to press this little down arrow and you're going to uh, click allow just essentially saying hey this one is a okay to happen just you know it's okay if you let me play this game is all you're letting you know and then you're going to have to probably get this exe back again 
and once you do that put it in here you double click to launch more info run anyway and if it does this black screen you are still fine depending on your PC you might have to sit there a few extra moments to let it load once you get to this portion you're all set and you are ready to play some Call of Duty Zombie Warfare next up we are going to go back over Radman. We have an excellent PDF to go through here. I'm going to drag this into its own little thing. Alright, so prerequisites for playing online is Radman VPN. It enables users to create a secure network account connections over uh, the internet, allowing them remote access resources as if they were on the same network. It provides a link with the Radman VPN. Of course, the links for Radman VPN, the Discord, well, Radman VPN's inside the Discord, so I guess just a Discord link will be there. The link for this PDF file uh, is also in the Discord in the help section. It is pinned, or I will provide the direct link to it. It goes step by step on what you need to do. It is a very detailed guide on how you need to do uh, with a Redman. It even shows an example of joining said VPN. No, this is an important bit. The tilde key slash grave key slash whatever this is. If you do not have this key on your keyboard, it is a three key bind function. I do not know those three keys. I'm not a computer person. You'll probably have to ask around because if you have a short handed uh, keyboard, you. I know Core in the Discord has a solution for this, so you can ask her how she does it. So same thing here, you would open this little console thing ever, the console thing to enter this specific command, connect, and then whoever the host IP is that you're connecting to. And then, it, you, you can't, so they should have really included something else before this. If you get a network error, you are going to try again simply after you click close out of the console, click OK, and then retry the join. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. If you get a clearance level message that you're getting a new clearance level MW2 thing that means you're more likely connecting yeah it means you're guaranteed to connect join the game every time if it kicks you out again you are both going to need to try to notice how uh, I think the host in this case has their thing named PC. 
And the same as me, mine is no longer desktop whatever. Y you really want to set your own like little name. You can do that by double clicking on this little bit right here. Renaming it. Because sometimes it doesn't like these long names for some reason when you try to copy an IP address. So it doesn't copy the entire thing. Don't know how that works, don't know why that works, but it just works. The only issue after that would be you have a closed port to not allow players. Now, there are excellent YouTube guides on how to make your port, uh, the port on your internet, God, I can't talk, from open, from closed to open, not from open to closed. You can also change it from open to closed if you like, but if you're one of those people that don't like playing with people, but then you don't have to install an admin or any of that stuff if you want to play solo. So, thank you for watching. If this did help, uh, do me a huge favor, subscribe. <laughs> this is the only time I ask people to subscribe.